Time is a precious thing. Never waste it. He's absolutely bonkers. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most famous movie characters ever. We'll only be focusing on human live action characters, so no King Kong or Mickey Mouse this time around. Number 20, John Wick, the John Wick franchise. Are you here on business, sir? Afraid so, Francis. Why don't you take the night off? Keanu Reeves is no stranger to iconic movie roles. From Point Break to Speed, he has solidified himself as an action icon over the years. While The Matrix is the franchise that put him on the map, lately, John Wick has become his bread and butter. The premise is simple. An ex-assassin goes on a killing spree after Russian mobsters murder the puppy his late wife left him to remember her by. And you, Jonathan, do what you do best. What's that? Hunt. A staircase of films later, and John Wick is still trying to avenge the death of that sweet dog. And we are still cheering him on. The franchise has incredible action scenes, and Reeves has only upped his ante as one of the best. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back! Number 19, Elle Woods, the Legally Blonde franchise. Being an iconic movie character? What, like it's hard? You got into Harvard Law? What, like it's hard? It's definitely not for this spunky blonde law student. Before Legally Blonde, Reese Witherspoon had done well for herself throughout the 1990s. But her 2001 turn as Elle Woods turned the actress into an A-lister. I'll show you how valuable Elle Woods can be. The beautiful, blonde, and wealthy Elle Woods might not be so relatable on paper, but Witherspoon gives her an endearing energy we can't get enough of. As she works hard to prove that she deserves to be at Harvard Law as much as anyone else, it's impossible not to root for her. I've waited so long to hear you say that. But if I'm going to be a partner in a law firm by the time I'm 30, I need a boyfriend who's not such a complete bonehead. Number 18, Holly Golightly, Breakfast at Tiffany's. When you have a career as storied as Audrey Hepburn's, you're bound to run into quite a few iconic roles over time. But no character and no clothes of Hepburn's have endured quite like Holly Golightly. I've got to do something about the way I look. Audiences were introduced to Holly with 1961's Breakfast at Tiffany's. From the very first scene, which shows Holly all dolled up in a black dress, standing outside Tiffany's, pastry in hand, we knew we were in for something special. Oh, I think they're divine on older women, but I don't think it'll be right for me, you do understand. Holly is a bit of a mystery throughout the film, but Hepburn's eccentric and magnetic performance puts us on her side no matter what. I'd marry you for your money in a minute. Would you marry me for my money? In a minute. So I guess it's pretty lucky neither of us is rich, huh? Number 17, Willy Wonka, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. It's time to step into a world of pure imagination. Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Over the course of his writing career, Roald Dahl came up with some pretty legendary characters, but none has entertained quite like the enigmatic chocolate maker Willy Wonka. The character has been played by many actors over the years, including Timothy Chalamet in a prequel, but no actor has worn the candy maker's shoes and hat as well as Gene Wilder. The danger must be growing for the rowers keep on rowing, and they're certainly not showing any signs that they are slowing! Wilder's performance in the 1971 film Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory is like an everlasting gobstopper. No matter how many times we re-watch the film, we never get tired of him. Don't forget what happened to the man who suddenly got everything he always wanted. What happened? He lived happily ever after. Number 16, Mary Poppins, Mary Poppins. As I expected, Mary Poppins practically perfect in every way. We've had such a long run with Julie Andrews, it's hard to imagine a time when she wasn't gracing our screens at the movies. But when Andrews made her film debut in 1964, general audiences didn't have a relationship with her. That all changed, however, when that debut feature turned out to be none other than Mary Poppins. Just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. Andrews would take on the role of the beloved nanny based on the character created by P.L. Travers. 
her performance instantly put her on the map and made the character an icon. Andrews even won Best Actress at the Oscars for her supercalifragilisticexpialidocious efforts. It's supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. Number 15. Rocky Balboa – The Rocky Franchise Everyone loves a good underdog, and this underdog captured America's hearts more than most. Sylvester Stallone wrote and starred in the first Rocky movie in 1976, starting a long line of films that would make him a star. Inspired by real-life boxer Chuck Wepner, Rocky follows a low-level Philly fighter who starts out as a loan shark before working his way up. Stallone's strange yet mesmerizing chemistry dazzled audiences everywhere. You'll be able to spit nails, kid! Like the guy says, you're gonna eat lightning and you're gonna crap thunder! Almost single-handedly, he helped turn Rocky Balboa into the quintessential underdog, the boxer it was impossible not to cheer on. What do you think about when the 15th round when you're coming out? Adrian! Number 14. Beatrix the Bride Kiddo – The Kill Bill Franchise Who doesn't love a revenge narrative? And when I arrive at my destination, I am gonna kill Bill. Well, we know one thing for sure, Quentin Tarantino certainly does. Tarantino's Kill Bill movies, released in 2003 and 2004, star Uma Thurman as a character initially only known as The Bride. The motive of The Bride isn't complex. Track down the people who killed her loved ones, almost taking her life in the process. So, Oren, any more subordinates for me to kill? It's a one-track narrative, but Thurman's performance sets it over the top. She handles the martial arts style of fighting with aplomb and brings a real pathos to the character that might not have appeared in the hands of a lesser actor. Number 13. Dr. Hannibal Lecter – The Silence of the Lambs Good morning. More actors have had the opportunity to play the iconic Hannibal Lecter than you might think. Even though some of those performances are good and even great, no one has totally frightened us quite like Anthony Hopkins. Hopkins appears as the famed literary cannibal in Jonathan Demme's The Silence of the Lambs. He barely has any screen time, but he makes amazing use of what he gets. A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Hopkins' titillating yet terrifying performance made Lecter one of the most popular villains in movie history. It's hard to look at the man and not think about him having an old friend for dinner. I do wish we could chat longer, but I'm having an old friend for dinner. Number 12. Captain Jack Sparrow – The Pirates of the Caribbean Franchise It's hard to believe that such an iconic character derived from a theme park ride. You are without doubt the worst pirate I've ever heard of. But you have heard of me. Well, Disney knows how to make money, we guess. Over the years, the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise has had its ups and downs. But, particularly in the franchise's first film, Captain Jack Sparrow is a character we fell in love with. Son, I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. He's heavy. The great thing about Jack is his ability to operate on the fly. He never really seems to have a plan, and yet things always seem to go according to his plan. That flying by the seat of his pants quality makes us love him even more. Drink up, me hearty Joe Ho. Number 11. Spider Man, the Spider Man franchise. Who's your favorite Spider Man? It's one of the most difficult questions to answer. As one of Hollywood's most consistent franchises, Spider Man is a character who is almost impossible not to love. Nice job, kid. Thanks. Well, I could have stuck the landing a little better. It's just a new suit. Wait, it's nothing. Mr. Stark, it's, it's perfect. Thank you. Yeah, we don't really it's... need to start a conversation. Okay. Cap Captain? Peter Parker has one of the best origin stories of any Marvel superhero. Who doesn't love the thought of being a normal teenager who is suddenly entrusted with remarkable powers? Activate instant kill! Peter is often portrayed as just a high school student trying to get by. The combination of everyday high school problems with his role as your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man makes him one of the most likable superheroes around. Come on, Spider-Man. Come on, Spider-Man. Come on, Spider-Man. 
Number 10, The Tramp, various Charlie Chaplin films. <laughs> Who had one of the first recognizable characters in all of cinema history? Why, Charlie Chaplin, of course. Arguably the most famous silent film star of his era, Chaplin debuted the character of The Tramp in 1914 and gave him his own film with 1915's The Tramp. With his bowler hat and mustache, the tramp was recognizable to audiences everywhere as a lovable vagabond. He was a man who wanted to fit in with high society, but his penchant for getting into trouble just wouldn't let him. Chaplin made 25 appearances as the tramp over his long career. Number 9. Ellen Ripley, The Alien Franchise there are plenty of famous male action heroes throughout the 1970s and 80s. Ripley, the protagonist of the Alien franchise, could have been just another musclehead. Where you want it? But early on in the production of the first Alien film, director Ridley Scott decided to switch things up a bit. Ripley became a woman, and when Sigourney Weaver was cast in the role, history was made. Ripley is smart, strong, and capable, but she also feels like a real person. Her humanity is what makes her one of the most endearing sci-fi characters of all time. Get away from her, you bitch! <laughs> Number 8. Harry Potter, the Harry Potter franchise. Say it with us. You're a wizard, Harry. With those famous words uttered by none other than Rubius Hagrid in 2001, Harry Potter would become one of the most popular film characters of all time. Adapted from novels of the same name, the Harry Potter franchise became some of the most successful movies ever made. Expecto Patronum! As Harry himself, Daniel Radcliffe brought a beloved book character to life on the big screen. It was easy for us to see ourselves in Harry as he grew up. No matter what or who he had to face, he always felt like a friend, making those battles all the more harrowing. Think of it this way. Every great wizard in history has started out as nothing more than what we are now, students. If they can do it, why not us? Number 7. Freddy Krueger, the A Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. There's Michael Myers, there's Jason Voorhees, and then you have Freddy Krueger. Please, God. This is God. While Michael and Jason are scary on their own, Freddy just has a little of that extra pizzazz to him. Through the A Nightmare on Elm Street horror franchise, the most enduring thing about Freddy is that he always seems to be having so much dang fun. You can check in, but you can't check out. Freddy might be a cold-blooded killer, but he operates with humor in a way that felt fresh to audiences back in the 1980s. That persona still makes him a horror icon today. Run! Watch out! Run! <laughs> Number 6. Vito Corleone, The Godfather Marlon Brando is one of the greatest actors in cinema history. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. His heyday was in the 1950s, appearing in everything from A Streetcar Named Desire to On the Waterfront. One of his most enduring characters would not appear until the 1970s, well after his career had entered a bit of a nadir. The 1960s were a tough time for Brando, but he came back with a vengeance as Vito Corleone in The Godfather. Someday, and that day may never come, I'll call upon you to do a service for me. Brando's performance as the leader of a crime family is equal parts soulful and terrifying. His acting chops are part of what helped make the character indelible. Like Brando, Robert De Niro won an Oscar for playing a young Vito. Yet it's the elderly Don Corleone who's become a mob movie symbol. Look how they mask with my boy. Number 5. Dorothy Gale, The Wizard of Oz. What can you say about Judy Garland that hasn't been said already? Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. She had a tough life at the hands of the film studios she worked for, and she had an incredible voice. Her career was filled with amazing characters, but today, none is remembered quite as well as Dorothy Gale in The Wizard of Oz. Won't you take me with you? Why, of course I will. Hooray! Garland wasn't the first choice for the role of the young girl who inadvertently finds her way into the colorful land of Oz, yet it's hard to imagine anyone else in the role. 
just a teenager at the time, Garland delivers an open and vulnerable performance. And that voice would help make Dorothy an enduring character. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up Number four, Indiana Jones, the Indiana Jones franchise. Harrison Ford has played quite a few major movie characters over his long career. From Han Solo to Rick Deckard, he has the icon thing down pat. But our favorite of his characters, and perhaps his favorite as well, has to be Indiana Jones. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? An archaeology professor with a bit of an adventurous streak, Indy is, simply put, one of the coolest, smartest guys in movie history. Prepare to meet Kali in hell. Oh, put out way! He's smart and resourceful, and his adventures are the stuff of dreams, taking him around the world. He also has quite the penchant for killing Nazis. Who doesn't love that? I came here to save you! Oh yeah? And who's gonna come to save you, Junior? I told you! Don't call me Junior. Number three. Batman, the Batman franchise. I want you to tell all your friends about me. What are you? I'm Batman. Some might say that a certain Batman villain deserved a spot on this list. Trust us, we thought long and hard about including the Joker. Let's put a smile on that face. But in the end, you have to give it up for the longevity of the Dark Knight himself. The first Batman film came out in 1943 and starred Lewis Wilson in the titular role. Now, more than half a century later, Batman has been played by numerous formidable actors, and there appears to be no signs of stopping. The fun thing about playing Batman is you get to play Bruce Wayne, too. Often, those two characters almost feel separate from each other in a way that makes the role all the more interesting. What the hell are you? <laughs> I'm Batman. Number two, James Bond, the James Bond franchise. I admire your luck, Mr. Bond. James Bond. Before we get on with this entry, we have to give it up for a certain international man of mystery. Here's to you, Austin Powers. Very shagadelic, baby, yeah! <laughs> but no matter how good the parody may be, the real thing usually can't be beat. James Bond is one of the most long-lasting characters in cinema history, a franchise that allows different actors to come in for movies at a time and offer their spin. That's part of what makes the British spy so legendary. We all might have our favorite portrayals, but the point of James Bond is that he's never too tied to a specific actor. In that way, the character supersedes the actor. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Darth Vader, the Star Wars franchise. When it comes to villains, they don't make them like this anymore. When I left you, I was but the learner. Now I am the master. When Darth Vader was first introduced in the original Star Wars trilogy, he was evil incarnate. By the end of Return of the Jedi, however, he garnered a bit of sympathy from the audience, even as he stuck to his evil whims. With the inclusion of his backstory throughout the rest of the Star Wars franchise, Darth Vader has become one of the most interesting big bads in cinema. The force is strong in this one. Plus, James Earl Jones sure gave us something to hold on to with that amazing voice. No, I am your father. If we missed any of your favorite movie icons, let us know in the comments below. I don't want to brag, but I will. I was in the Avengers. The Avengers? Yeah. That's great. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.